Luke Thomas for MMA Fighting here in Madison Square Garden next to the UFC's Vice President of Regulatory Affairs, Mark Radner, and the man who's really been at the forefront of this effort to get where we are today. I asked uh, Lorenzo Fertitta how he felt. I guess I'll ask you the same question. Bliss? Uh, relief? What is it? Well, the day the Assembly voted for it, when I, when I heard the final uh, vote tally, that was the emotional moment for me. Uh, it was a culmination. Uh, I call it a long pregnancy. We finally had the baby. And, uh, no, it's very exciting to be here at the Garden. Uh, I'm thrilled. An eight-year gestation period? Is that what that was? That was uh, exactly right. And uh, so this is the baby, and now we'll, uh, we'll have the big, uh, the, big, the big coming out party November 12th. So let's talk about some of the uh, regulatory aspects of this. As I understand it, uh, we all know there's a current boxing commission. Um, your, the, the New York Commission is going to be adding and augmenting people to help on the regulate on the MMA side. Is that right? So it'll be t one commission, but essentially two different groups, two different uh, committees of expertise, as it were. Well, uh, we're meeting uh, with the commission and uh, Chairman Hoover uh, later on today, and I'll, I'll know more about it. But I, I do, don't, do know they are, are adding some MMA people. So. And if the math is correct, the state can start sanctioning events September 1, as I understand it. Is that your understanding as well? Uh, my understanding really is that they've got to get everything in place, and I, I don't want to put a date on there, but it's, it's in, in, in that area. But it's real important that they have the right kind of judges and referees and inspectors and all their doctors, so uh, whatever, whatever they need, but the, it'll be well done for our first fight. Um, to what extent will the UFC and you, obviously with the background as a regulator, will be providing guidance for that commission? Uh, whatever they need, and today's the first meeting with them, and uh, if I need to come up here at any time, I shall. But uh, they're, they have a real good commission, so I'm not concerned about that at all. You know, I have, I have people in from Jersey tell me, well, now that MMA is legal in New York, when is the UFC going to go back to Jersey? Now, I don't mean as a scheduling issue, but there is sort of one interesting part about that. The Jersey Commission is one of the better commissions in the country, but at the forefront of the MMA uh, legalization efforts um, and, and pushing the boundaries of um, proper testing and scoring and everything else. Do, is MMA better served still going to Jersey? I mean, so I know it's a question where they're going to go to New York no matter what, but I guess I'm just wondering your response to people from Jersey who are saying MMA is really well regulated here. Uh, Commissioner Hazard and uh, Nick Lembo are as good a regulators as there are in the, in the probably in the world, and uh, we'll never forsake uh, New Jersey. There'll be times we're going to be here in New York, but uh, New Jersey is very important to us too. I asked Lorenzo Fertitta about this, I'll ask you as well. We, we don't know a lot about what happened in Ireland last weekend with the death of uh, Joan Carvalho, but I guess I'm just wondering when you as a regulator or a former regulator and now sort of working to make MMA what it is in the state of New York like this, when you see something like that, what is your response to it? Because it, it affects you in ways it, it uniquely doesn't affect other competitors. Well, I, I, my heart goes out to uh, when these things happen. I've, I've been through this in boxing. But my first question is, uh, were there any pre-existing medical conditions? Was there any problem in sparring? That uh, Was there a knockout earlier uh, when, he was, when he was practicing? So there's a lot of questions, and, uh, but nevertheless, it's, a, it's a, just a horrible thing, and I, I feel very bad. What is the UFC's next push for regulation, international, to get it regulated in every territory they go to? Or are you satisfied with, because in some places you still self-regulate, maybe in a better position than total whatever the, the, the show was in Ireland, but are you looking to then make international territories, uh, bring the government into that? Uh, I would rather not self-regulate. I mean, we, we, we just came from Croatia where uh, we were self-regulating. I would like to have some kind of a commission, and it might be just this IMMAF, the International MMA Federation, to start getting a bigger, bigger part. But um, we want to grow the sport. Uh, we haven't been to France. We haven't been to Italy. So... Uh, some of those places are on the uh, horizon, but um, uh, we just need to get it properly regulated throughout the world. And um, I noticed you're wearing, I think it's an Australia button. Why the Australia button here in New York? Uh, I don't have a New York button yet, but I, but I will. Uh, I've, I've had the Australia button on this coat for a while, and, uh, uh, but th that'll be the next one. We'll have a New York button made. All right, well, when you get that, I plan on uh, taking a look at it. Congratulations on all your hard work, and uh, it's a big day. Best of luck to you. My pleasure, uh, Luke. Thanks very much. And uh, I enjoy your guys' show. As you know, uh, MMA Beat. I, I watch it. We're going to record that in like an hour. So thank you very much. Appreciate right. it. Thanks.